Alright guys, we are back. With regards to the stream being laggy, I do apologize. Um, at the moment I can't do anything about it. Let's just leave it at that. It's going to remain laggy. Uh, if there's a low quality option, choose that. I have tried to fix it on my end. It's not on my end. It's my ISP throttling me because Virgin Media here in the UK don't like it when someone uh, constantly streams or uploads for more than uh, I think it's around two hours so again apologies if you want to continue watching you're more than welcome to otherwise feel free to check the uh, VOD later on on my YouTube channel which is just youtube.com forward slash Kyanite CSGO or if there's another stream, feel free to watch that stream, of course. And feel free to uh, write a letter of complaint to my uh, internet service provider. Need to use some of your Serbian internet. It's slightly more useful than the internet here in the UK. You think? Yeah, a lot of people seem to think. They're very funny. They're very funny about about someone has a very strong kind of tournament from Serbia that's playing every single time. Crashes, crashes. I mean, a lot so it's of not very helpful. A lot of people are under the impression that the internet here in the UK is brilliant or whatever, when in reality it unfortunately is far from that. The problem is... The same in Serbia. Yeah. The problem is there's only like one ISP, more or less, that can provide fiber optics. Um, there's a new ISP starting fiber optics, but that's not available everywhere. So, uh, anyway, let's forget that. Again, guys, apologies regarding the lag. Feel free to check the VOD out later. There's nothing I can do about it, so complain all you want. We're going to continue doing this because even if it is lagging, we have the VOD for later. Um, and again, apologies for it. And hopefully, it won't happen again in the future. Definitely won't happen once I move back to university next week. Well, in less than a week. But anyways, who cares about my private life? We are back now. Iceland against Norway. I forgot to get a uh, update on how Italy and Croatia is going. But who cares? We're focused on Norway and Iceland. What a game it's been so far. Iceland won the first map on Dust 2, which nobody was expecting. But then Norway, despite what looked to be a, a comeback again from Iceland on Mirage, Norway managed to not get as complacent as they were on Dust 2 and they managed to uh, rack that map on the board so it's all down to this game forget Dust 2 forget Mirage this is what it's all about Inferno so how are these CTs set up then two on B one ooh playing inside library I don't see that very often one right on the A bomb site and one uh, in app so look at this then Norway very very quiet creeping into this uh, B, B, uh, A bomb site and there it is, Cutter, he's very good with an auto sniper, but he's very good with a silenced USB as well. He's going to pop out, the CT trying to gangbang these terrorists now, but Vendetta gets a better escape in. They're pushing, they're stampeding towards this bomb site. Three versus four, and hopefully Iceland can use this one-man advantage to their best. But Rubinho wants otherwise. Two versus three. Skirk is lurking in pit, he's being dropped down to four HP, and he's going to get surrounded now as that... Player comes through, or perhaps throws that flash, he's fully flashed, but Skirk is going to get that kill, he's going to get that second, he's going to spam that block, but not register any kills, the, the uh, CT on site is looking for the defuse, lovely shot from Skirk, he's only on 4 HP, Is Charlie Danos is not going to pull this off, he is going to pull it off, and the bomb did not go down, 1-0 Iceland, exactly what they will have wanted coming right into this game, 1-0. Okay, just got info about Croatia, Italy. Okay. Croatians are leading. Are they? Wow. On Inferno Night. Yes. Nine, sorry? What did you 1916. Inferno Night. Alright, 1916. Fair enough. Oh, so they're in overtime. Wow. Okay, fair enough. So, back to this game. Where Skirk is slowly making his way up Banana. And we'll run into Verkus and Danos. Of course, the CTs, the way the economical system works. They've got the weapons, they won the pistol round, and on paper, this should be an easy Icelandic round. Still, no one's died though, so, you know, it's a decent start for Norway. Surely now only a matter of time until someone does fall to their death. That is going to be pain. Thanks to Cutter, who slices and dices him in Boiler Room. 
Of course the terrorists only have pistols. I'm sur very surprised none of the uh, Icelandic players pushed banana. And now, because they didn't push banana, they didn't take full control of it. The terrorists, they're going to rotate back. Rubinho Pan's being left for a fake. And the bomb is going to go down this B bomb site. The terrorists were expecting that one of the CDs is going to rotate back towards that larger A bomb site, but it didn't happen. And so far, an easy butchery for the CTs on the bomb site. And there we have it. That's what we expected. Norway took their time with it. But in the end, none of the Icelandic players died. 2-0 to Iceland. What do you think of that round? Well, as you said, they should push. They should have pushed Banana and the round would be so much shorter. Just because Iceland has the weapons. Yeah. Norway doesn't, and that's big guns beat the little ones. Fair enough. Obviously not every time, but uh, the mass majority of the time. So Vendetta is going to check bedroom, see if any uh, CTs are falling into asleep synapse. in bedroom. I'd be very surprised if any of the Icelandic players have fallen asleep at the moment. It's probably the t most tense ever game they've uh, ever played. So. No, it look like they're preparing to push onto this A bomb site. Wow, Skippy is going to be in for the fright of his life. Cutter as well. Wow, they're all running into them. Two from Cutter, three man from Cutter. Is it going to make it four? No, Skippy is going to get that final kill. But another perfect round from Iceland. Absolutely just tearing the Norwegians apart. And the battle of the Scandinavians is currently in the Icelandic's favour. Three nil. So, of course, Iceland did win map number one. They definitely knew what they were doing on Dust 2. The question now is, do they know what they're doing on uh, Inferno? We know that Inferno is a very heavily CT-sided map. And that's being portrayed at the moment by the fact that it is, in fact, 3-0 to the Coward Terrorists. But now the Terrorists have weapons. Now they have those one shot to the head, then dead AK-47s, those Kalashnikovs. We know how strong they are. And they do have a slight edge over the uh, M4s, the uh, m 6 And Cutter still has the auto sniper. That the uh, Icelanders have. Cutters, like you said, still has that almighty auto sniper, the almighty purple auto sniper, but hello, hello. The Norwegians are going to head towards this B-bomb site. None of the CTs have actually rotated towards A, which I think is what the Norwegians wanted. So the incinerary grenade is going to go down to the floor. Skirt with first, but on to Danos. Obverk is playing very well. Ninja in the back of the bomb site is going to show himself, however. Vendetta deals with him. And Danos, wow, he was dead, but uh, that incinerary grenade finally got a kill onto Rubinho. It just goes to show it's not a little bit of fancy fire on the floor. It can actually indeed make a difference. So, 3-0, Skirk onto Drip to the smoke. And Skippid is going to have to take paint now. Surely he's going to check the left side coming out of ruins now. Here we go. Oh, there it is from Skippid. Cutter takes out Vendetta and Skirk is all by himself now. Two versus one. He's being pushed from the left and he's being pushed from the right. He's playing for time. There's surely no time for the CT to defuse. Yeah, no this is going to be two versus one. Is it going to be a clutch from Skirk? No, it's not. But team-wise, it definitely was one heck of a clutch. A game of cat and mouse between Skirking and uh, Clutter. Clutter? Clutter? Flipping heck, I keep forgetting his name. And Norway have that important Cutter. round on the board now. A lot of kills. Yep, he's got nine kills to his name already. So let's take a look at the scoreboard. Cutter topping it for the uh, Icelandic team. Nine kills and one death. Danos not too far behind with five kills. Skip in, Verka and Drips all uh, sharing two kills apiece. As for the terrorists, we've still got Sentry in paint on no kills, which is interesting. Rubinho's got one kill, whilst Vendetta and Skirk, well, they're in the lead for, as far as the Norwegians are concerned, of course. Skirk with five and Vendetta with two. So, five on five. Let's see what Norway are made of now. This is where they've got to show their qualities. They're two rounds down on a CT-sided map. Drips has been boosted onto that that interesting balcony, actually. I never knew you could go up there. And you could go up onto the one on ice. I never you could, knew you could go up onto that one on there near uh, Quad. But he's dropped down now, so it's not going to make a difference. Cutter's spamming away with that auto sniper. 
through the smoke, hoping that he gets a kill. So Skirk is going to be the first casualty of the round. He's going to be the second casualty. It looks like it, and it is going to be of Viker. So Cutter cutting through the terrorists, as we've seen him do quite a lot with that order sniper. There's the second kill from his before falling to his death, thanks to Paint. And down Paint drips. Actually, drips. Drips killed Paint. So let's try and think of an interesting pun for that. Drips. Makes the paint drip. Apologies, that's quite poor, isn't it? Yeah. But anyways, what do you think of that round? First of all, for that saying, it's very wrong. Perverted minds might take it very different. <laughs> <laughs> and Iceland is very strong at CT, and they've been showing it on two two maps, third map. Still strong as CT. Yeah, they, I I have to agree with that they do look very very strong on this CT side against Norway. Is it is it a strong Icelandic CT side or is it a, a, a weak Norwegian terrorist side? Uh, you know, probably a bit It'd of both, both. But again, 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 this is a CT side map. Five one at the moment doesn't surprise me. We now have guns in the gloves of the Norwegians, so. If they can get this round on the board, then you know they'll they'll, they'll be a sign of intent. Oh no, they're actually they're, they're ecoing, they're ecoing, they're pushing towards Arch. Cutter and the uh, drips are working onto one, and Skip is gonna uh, Skip is gonna pop out and take down two. Pull the pistol out, wasn't enough, and drips is waiting to take down Rubinho. And off Viker quickly rotated from that smaller B bomb site. Six one. Typical eco bash, really. So now, Skip it being the loser for not buying the diffuser. <laughs> so now, the mistake I made last round was I thought Norway had actually bought up. They have bought up now, but guys, they've got to win this round because, well, if they don't win this round, they're going to be seven-one down. They might just might have to eco again, and well, uh, that'll put them eight-one down and maybe even nine-one down. And at the moment, they are far too many rounds down. Paint shooting into bedroom there, despite the fact that his teammate was in there. So maybe that's a, that's 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 a bit of miscommunication, perhaps between the Norwegians. Maybe explaining why they're five rounds down at the moment. I don't know. It's gonna have to wait and see. The good news, if you are a Norwegian watching though, is that you are indeed one man up in this round. So let's see if your team can capitalise on it. Danos. Um, uh, being a bit of a of a bird at the moment, sat inside that tree on the uh, smaller B bomb site. As uh, the rest of the terrorists make their way into uh, the larger A bomb site, Skip it and Rubinho sparring at each other. And I'm not. Oh, look at this! Look at this! Danos rotated out the B bomb site. It was a fake. The Norwegians are going to plant on B. What a good round from them! I think Rubinho did very, very well along with his teammate. They went towards quad, and they didn't die. And Danos rotated from the tree, and now this bomb site is all Norway. And look at Iceland. They know that this round's over and done with. They know that, guys, we cocked that one up, and only Danos is going to hope for an exit frag. Where's he hiding? He's hiding in CT spawn. Vendetta's made his way back to T spawn. Oh, what a mistake. Off Verka was waiting for him. And the terrorists now, they've all got to head down to CT spawn. Now Danos is going to be in for the fright of his life. But not anymore because he's sleeping with the devils. Because he is dead. 6-2. Very, very good round from Norway. And maybe, just maybe after faking that... They might realise, hang on guys, you know, we all, these past two maps, we've been under the impression that Iceland is some sort of powerhouse on CT. But hang on, all it takes is a few fakes to maybe, you know, outsmart them and get that bomb down. Smoke there, flash there. Exactly. That's it. Exactly, I couldn't agree more. And hopefully, we might see uh, more of a sign of intent from the Norwegians. We know we've got it in them. The question now, big question mark, is on the Icelanders. Have they got it in them? So, Go TV's playing up. Players are sliding around like they're walking on ice. Well, let's not worry about that at the moment. Six two. Payne has made his way into boiler room. You can see he's looking right at Cutter, and that AK does not miss a kill from there. And that M4 as well doesn't miss a kill from. Uh, from uh, being so close by. So 6-2. What's auto director playing at? Skirk making his way 
up Bernardo. Throwing a few flashes, we might see a B fake here. The bomb, of course, is more towards that A bomb site. Rubinho is in apps. Making his way down towards Boiler Room. There's the fake smoke, some flashes. Off the curtain drips. Oh, off the curtain drips are rotating. These these fakes are taking the better out. They're taking the worst out of Iceland. Drips is rotating though. Off the curtain slowly making his way past. Norway, you've got to act faster if you're going to fake. Otherwise, that happens. Sentry gets blown to smithereens. Drips now makes his way out to the bomb site. Rubinho was in the right place at the right time. And Danos is all by himself. What are you going to do, Danos? Are you going to walk through the smoke? Everyone knows it's bad to walk through smokes. But hey, he's the boss, not me. So what's he going to do then? He's got that lovely silenced M4 Dark Quarter skin, but he's also got three lovely terrorists to uh, hold back. And surely he's going to die now. Yeah, there he is. Routine stuff from Rubinho. He grabs a hat-trick and gives a hat-trick number of rounds for his terrorist side. 6-3. So now, we've got a bit of a mix by from the Icelanders. They don't want to give Norway four rounds, which is understandable. But you know their finances, they're hanging on a thread at the moment. If they do end up losing this round, despite panic buy-in, it could be not game over, but they'll be in trouble. You don't really want to give terrorists more than five rounds on Inferno. And we went on and on about this strong Icelandic counter-terrorist uh, side. But at the moment, maybe a bit of the commentator's curse. Because we haven't seen much of it ever since SM mentioned it. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> You're a big jinx, SM. Go away. No, I'm kidding. But anyway, so, another... We're seeing fakes now. Fakes from Norway. They've tried to fake this B-bomb site. Paint is... Wow, where's Paint? Paint is making his way in towards Arch. But the CTs, they've learned from their mistakes. Fair play to them. But talking about learning from mistakes, it's not going to matter if you're learning from your mistakes. If you're pulling off shots like that, they haven't checked behind them. Danos is surely going to get that flowers frag before falling to his death. That's the Vendetta. Three on three is how he stands at the moment. Seven, three, five, five, six, zero, eight is the number going down on the bomb. Vendetta holding the back of the bomb site. Kutzer with that auto sniper. Oh, he spotted a terrorist to the left. He's going to look to the right, to the left, to the left, to the right, to the right. Is a song that I use that I've heard before. But anyways, Skipid making his way towards ruins. Through towards ruins, he's going to spot one of the Norwegians there. Vendetta gets the better of Skipid. And at the moment, the CTD to retake this bomb site is to the last man standing in drips. And Rubinho says, "You're all mine. I'm going to take you out." And gets his second of the round. And uh, well, uh, Norway faked it. At a point, it looked like it wasn't going to work for them because the CTs looked like they learned from the mistakes. They stayed on the bomb site, but at the end of the day, they weren't strong enough to actually withhold the push. We got a hard hitting train, Rubinho, just bashing through everywhere. But they figured out the fakes. I think they got caught about two or three times with the fakes. So this, so is, it's this is finally. This is okay. in interesting. We got four CTs on the B bomb site, and Cutter all by himself on the A bomb site. Sentry and Skirk might be in for the surprise of their lives now. They're walking in straight into that B bomb site, as we can see. Auto director, show us how they are. Oh, look! I think the all oh, <laughs> what a round this is going to be. All the terrorists pushing into this B bomb site, and it's CTs galore. Skirk getting a frag, and now they think it's clear, but Drips thinks otherwise. Two from Drips. They know he's there. That P250. It's going to go to waste, and thanks to Rubinho. But, you know, two frags is two frags. 6-5, and Norway are on the comeback. So, full buy round from both sides.
A few of them already spotted on this banana. Danos is going to get that first kill now. And let's see how this uh, how this round, sorry, is going to develop. Come on, Norway, you've got five. Well, we saw Iceland being the comeback kings in the last two maps, but as it stands, Norway. Well, they're a bit of a comeback. They're a bit of a, set, a bunch of comeback kings themselves. Four versus five. They are a man down, though. So if they are going to live up to that comeback king's reputation that their opponents withheld from them, we're going to have to see around quick and fast. Sentry. Oh, he's going to check that shot spot. He's going to fall back instead. So now the CTs know. Oh, look, they're falling back. Oh, Ficker will have heard that, and they're pushing towards Quad now. The flashes are being thrown. They're being chugged down left, right, and center. But the Norwegians are going to get two frags, and Drift is going to pop out. He's going to take down two, but two's not enough. Two versus two. However, it might, it just might give the Icelanders a chance. Lubinio deals a lot of damage onto one of the Icelanders. That nade from Sentry could land and kill one of the CTs. Just not enough damage. Del Rubinio with one Sentry with the other. And the Norwegians, it's not a full comeback just yet. They haven't won the map. But from being 6-1 down to 6-6, half decent comeback if you ask me. So, we've seen uh, Orvikas push up all the way to Sandbags on Banana, with Dan Orziza. He took his time, he's finally back on the B-bomb site now. SM is trying to get some information regarding Croatia and Italy, regarding who won the first map for it, of course. And the Norwegians at the moment, they're in apps, they're in apps. The uh, CT's playing very defensively, actually, in that A-bomb site. Cutter all the way in Arch. So, there's the uh, first casualty of the round. Who is Drips? They know exactly where Paint is, though. And Paint knows that his uh, <laughs> enemy has an M4. Definitely knows now after he tastes a bullet in his mouth. Wonder what that tasted like. Four versus four now. They're running right into off Vicar. They don't know he's there. Off Vicar with that pharmacist is going to take that one, but one's not enough. Skirk is going to pop on this bomb site. He spots Danos. CLA to Danos. Three versus two now. The bomb's going to go down. And Skippid and Cutter have to rotate. Skippid making his way around Banana Cutter. Wow, he's going to run into not one, but two. Terrorists now rotating from CT. We've got two M4s on the prowl. Rubinho spotted Cutter. Cutter's going to make his way into ruin slowly but surely. He spotted Sentry. Sentry so far getting the better of him. There's a lovely crossfire going here. And it works very well for them. And Skippid, he's not going to be able to pull this off. He's uh, decided to save his weapon. Smart choice. Uh, probably wouldn't have pulled it off in the end and Norway are going to complete a mini comeback at 7-6 on a CT sided map so maybe just maybe after that small Norwegian upset on Didas 2 we might just maybe see him snatch this game overall 2-1 but it's still early days okay I just got some info about Crow Yep. Croatia versus Italy. And can still find out who won the first map, but they're not playing Nuke. Uh, Croatia won the ninth round and they chose CT. Okay. Okay. Said so just first round at the moment. I think minute 20 is left. Of course, the last score update we had, it was 19 16 in favor of Croatia in overtime. Croatia. Yeah. The, the second overtime. It was the sec second overtime. They went into a second overtime. Yeah. Wow. Okay. We well, don't know who won that. Maybe HLTV will update in, uh, in a short while. So, where are the terrorists going to go then? There's five of them. There's only four CTs, but they've got two CTs to deal with at the moment. They're going to push right into this B bomb site. They want to rack up eight rounds on the board. No, no, they've, ch they've had a change of mind. They've had a change of mind. You know, they've tried to fake this B-bomb site, but they're running all the way back down Banana, and I don't think this is going to be fast enough. The CT's still waiting there, but Rubinho opens up the map. Gets that kill off to Cutter. Sentry as well, taking down off Viker on the smaller B-bomb site. And down goes the bomb. Danos is going to get that frag onto Rubinho, coming all the way through uh, Library. Four versus one. Surely, surely we're not going to see a comeback two from Danos. And at three versus one... This seems even more possible. He's staying in library. Sentry's waiting for him. And Sentry, he's been such a crucial player for the Norwegians. And uh, 
That was a crucial fra a frag. 8-6. Wow, I, I can't believe this. It's just been a game full of comebacks, hasn't it? I mean, not just this map, but the previous two maps as well. Definitely, yeah. I... I find it just like, like to struggle. They just want to be the little cat in the corner, waiting to go for the eyes. That's an interesting way of putting it. Can't argue with it though. <laughs> so, Sentry's made his way all the way up to Bernardo. They have a mixed buy from the CTs. They haven't ecoed whatsoever actually. They, 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 they keep going for those mixed FAMAS buys. And at the moment it's finally working for them. Sentries is waiting, he's gonna spam through that smoke. He's dealt damage, he doesn't know that. Vendetta trying to get a pick on Arch. But Cutter is uh, quite healthy at the moment, still on 100 HP and 100 armor. So where are these terrorists gonna go? Sentries just waiting. Hang on a second, the bomb's at T-spawn. The bomb's at T-spawn, guys. There we have it, Paint and uh, Vendetta falling back to pick up the bomb. And as they do that, they gave away their positions. And off Verkus, a normal day at the office for him. Two kills before falling to his death. And Paint is all by himself. Here he is. The Icelander's already saying good half, but hang on a second, there's the first from Paint. He's got the bomb out already. Surely he's not going to go for the plant already. Surely he wants to make sure the bomb site is clean and clear before he goes for the plant. He's made his way back down to Banana. What's he trying to do here? What's he got in mind? There's a second from Paint. Wow! 15 seconds to go. Paint, you've got to get that bomb down now. There's no point in messing around. There's another one from Paint. Wow! Paint, four versus one. He's gone three already. The CT, Dallas is going to come right behind him. Paint's going to get the four versus one punch oh from Paint. God. Makes it 9-6. The Icelanders were cheeky. They said good half. But little did they know they were in for the fright of their lives as Paint tears them apart with a four versus one clutch. He played it risky by not planting, but it was worth it in the end. Nine six to Norway. Well, it definitely bottom time. He was very lucky with that last flag, uh, last frag as well, just uh, in the nick of time. But that wow! From the city spawn. like those hours from the deathmatch finally paid off. Yeah. <laughs> All that practice paid off. The lovely headshots in the, working up to it as well. Fair play to uh, Paint. It was Paint, wasn't it? It was Paint, yeah. Good job he changed his name to Paint, otherwise we'd be saying we have oil with the four versus one clutch. I think it, it was we got oil. We got oil, okay. Yeah, my memory's not too great, unfortunately. <laughs> But anyway, so the terrorists in I think the... I remember Iceland, Norway. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, one thing we definitely can remember now is that they are pushing in towards Arch. Into library they go, and Paint deals with one Skirk with another. But hang on, wow, two quick kills from Iceland. Slowly, mate, this looks somewhat winnable. So the bomb's going to go down on this B bomb, on this A bomb site, sorry. Going back into my store stays. Lovely shot from Danos. Norway had a two-man advantage, but they're slowly disintegrating here. They pulled the comeback off and Paint saved their bacon. But he's dead now, so can Rabinho work a little bit of his magic? Drips is going to take down Rabinho and Guess Skirk not. is the last man standing. They know where he is. Danos is playing it cool. Danos is going to spam that Glock of his. Skirk is on 21 HP. Surely he's going to fall to his death. There it is. Drips onto Skirk. Hat trick for Drips in the pistol round. 9-7. Yes, someone doesn't know how to open a console. <laughs> there are actually some servers where, which don't show they, they don't show it. Yeah, I don't know if these servers are com uh, configured to be like that. Probably. It's really frustrating when you can't see damage in console. But anyway, so the terrorists have the gun advantage. Hopefully, they can use that to their advantage, of course, and just maybe get an inch closer to leveling it up with the current combat kings. Both teams are fighting for this uh, combat king uh, title. First, it was Iceland on two maps. Now Norway uh, looking likely to steal that title from them. So Skirk is going to get that first kill with that lovely 5-7 shot onto Skip It. Rubinho joining in on some of the action. Three versus four. 
course, the terrorists, despite being a man down, they have the weapon advantage, so that by itself could uh, equivalent to being a man down. Being a man up, sorry. So off Viker with two. Then I was on to uh, skip it, and the Vendetta is all by himself now. Oh, look at this. He's picked up a P90. He's going for the defuse. He's going, he's holding, he's holding. Five seconds to go. What's this terrorist doing? Finally, he's going to peek. There's the, uh, the, the, the uh, frag. But is he going to have enough time to defuse? He should. Should do. There it is. Wow, that was lucky in my opinion. Just about got it. And, uh, hang on a second, Norway, they lost the pistol round, but they've won this second round. Which means Iceland's uh, finances must be down the drain. Poor Iceland. And we've got M4s already from, uh, from, from Norway. Good stuff. Should be a bash. So they're splitting, probably trying to fake it. Looks like it. The bomb's gone towards Aps in B. There's the first frag from Sentries, and his Sentry is always so close to getting a second frag. There it is. Three man and from third. Sentries. Lovely stuff from Sentry. Only a few more kills to go until he uh, gets a Sentry. Ha ha ha. So they're going to push into this B bomb site. Rubino with the Farmas will devour. Skip it, and Skirk will deal with Danos nicely as he eradicates him on that B-bomb site. 11-7. Okay, Croatia, Italy. Croatia is losing on the CT side, 6 to none. Oof, what map is it? Nuke. Nuke, Nuke. And they're, CT and they're losing on the CT side? Yes. Wow, okay. Do you know whether they won the first map? Take that as a no. One sec. Okay. So five on five as it stands. Of course, if anyone uh, knows who won the first one, please in the chat. Feel free to let us know. So first frag goes to Danos, but uh, he uh, fell to his death later on. So Skirk, he's only on 19 HP himself, and have the terrorists noticed that? Well, one of the CTs in paint has, and look at this. Sentry is rotating as well. So the bomb, of course, they're not near the B bomb site. Sentry, no, he's he's noticed this and he's decided to stay. And he stood at Arch, so we may have heard these uh, terrorists making their way back down Banana. Sentry holding Arch with that OPP-90 and he's going to get one frag, he's going to peek out and try and get a second. He's been hit hard by that AK-47, Drips takes him out, three versus three, anyone's round. And if Norway gets it, well, that's exactly what they will have uh, entered this round looking for and Payne looks like he just might make it a slight, a slight possibility. Vendetta, he hasn't checked to his left, drips, evens things up. Two versus two. HP-wise, slightly in favour of Iceland, I would think. They know where Skirk is in library. The bomb's going to go down, the smokes are going to go out. How are the CTs going to take this on, then? Skirk only on 19 HP. Looks like both CTs might push through uh, Quad. And with drips, watching Quad now, he needs to make sure he doesn't die. He's on 54 HP, they know he's there. Who's going to get the better of who? Drips gets the better of Skirk. And now Payne is going to get that kill. Drips is always, Drips is there. Drips gets the kill. Iceland back in with a shout. 7, uh, no, 11, 8. Wow. 8. I got info. Croatia 1 and Inferno. Okay, that's not bad. So... Yeah, uh, it's looking like easy. Well, well, nuke, and you're winning six map. nil on uh, T side. It looks likely, probably, that Italy will probably emerge victorious. So we might have a third map actually between Croatia and Italy, which will be interesting. <laughs> we should be watching then later. Yeah, we should be, providing I still have a voice, of course. And slowly, slowly, my voice box is slowly disintegrating. I'm trying to drink hot beverages to try and keep it going. Reminding me of. Uh, Casting uh, I-49, who just non-stop for like 12 hours, N woke up on the day of the final with no voice. But anyways, let's forget about I-49, that's the past now, and let's focus on the present. 11-8 in favour of Norway. What are they going to do then? Let's uh, see what you're made of, Norway. They're falling back now, out of banana. Two CTs left, uh, undamaged, bar Skirk, who's been damaged a little, tiny little bit. And Oh, look at this, they're making their way back up banana. They can't make their minds up at the moment. Come on, Iceland, pick which bomb site you want to go go to and uh, flash in there and uh, bloody well take it. So, 
putter chilling in the uh, boiler room. I think he, uh, he's, he I think this is going to be a B push, actually. I think he's just waiting for a, a rotation to occur. Oh, he's going to throw that smoke out of Vendetta. Oh, look at him. He's going to waste that flash. He's uh, trying to fake the A bombsite push. And I got a second. There's Rubinho. Two from Rubinho. Is he going to make it a hat trick? Just maybe. No, he's not. As Danos takes him down, and is he going to get another frag to his name? Mr. Danos here, he's all by himself, he's four versus one, but one frag here might open this bombsite up for him. It is going to open the bombsite up for him. Seven, three, five, five, six, zero, eight, my favourite number in the world. And Scanos, Danos with two. Wow, are well, we going to see another flash? Lovely shot from Danos. He's already taken out four, and it's only a matter of time now. He's on six HP. Vendetta has the HP advantage. Danos, don't show yourself, play for time. But Vendetta put what could have been a beautiful clutch to death. 11-8 is going to turn to 12-8. So unfortunate from Danos. So unfortunate. But I think he should have played it cooler. He peaked. And uh, thankfully for Norway, Vendetta had his shooting gloves on. 12-8 is the score. God, man, good the adrenaline rush. That would have been a beautiful clutch if he had pulled it off. But, we have an eco round coming in from the terrorists, and they're all uh, near this B-bomb site. Ooh, Danos made a bit of noise, Danos made a bit of noise. And do we see anyone rotate? Not just yet. Here we go, here's a stampede, then let's see what you made of Skirk. Skirk with two, auto director, look at Skirk, Rubinho as well. He's going to get the hat trick. Typical eco bash from Norway, and they're only three rounds away. But I remember the last time I said Norway with three rounds away. You remember what happened? They lost. <laughs> like, I almost no, they sold won. my they won. account. They almost lost. <laughs> <laughs> Deary me. You almost sold your SEMA account. Yeah. <laughs> SEMA account for sale. Alrighty then. Five versus five. No one's had uh, any damage dealt to themselves just yet. But the AKs have uh, the AKs have terrorists. I almost said the AKs have terrorists. The terrorists have AKs. And Sentry has a fat mass. He's going to get one frag. Is he going to get a second? He is going to get a second before Drip stakes him out. Three on three now. Who's going to put who to death? Who's going to eradicate who? Nice and green. He needs this round on the board. And Downs is uh, looking keen to make it happen. Skirk is spraying. But you can't spray and pray like that in this game. No, no. This isn't Source. This is a 1.6. Global offensive. The beating him out by himself. He's going to take out one before falling to his death. And like I said, Iceland really needed that round. And they've got it in the end. 13-9. So now the CTs have to eco. We saw the complacency Norway did last time. If you were their leader, what would you tell them? Like, how would your uh, approach Norway. be? Yeah. Oh, I'm pretty much excited for them not using the... The lamest try to ever uh, was tossing the HE grenade on mid. Yeah. Uh, they, they are stacking B. Yeah. They are stacking B and it's going to turn up well for them. If the terrorists keep on doing what they are doing. Yeah. Of course, the bomb, however, is still at mid. So. Let's see what happens. Like you said, they start B. Oh, I'm going to look at this. Vendetta pushed out of apps. <clears throat> so the terrorists are going to know there's one less for... Oh, look at this! Rubinho! Two from Rubinho! No, there's only one from Rubinho. It was a, <laughs> it was a team kill from Skippy. So team Took kill. out Danos. And three versus four. The team who are ecoing are one man up. But of course, the weapons that Iceland have prove to be a man themselves. And the question now is, weapons mean nothing. It's uh, all about the player with the weapon. Payne is going to take down one, two from Payne. That P250 cutters all by himself now. And if Norway win this, surely they have to go on and uh, win the whole game. They have to win this map, which will, of course, win them the whole game. Cutter's been spotted. Cutter with that lovely headshot onto, onto paint. 
whose blood is now painting the back of the wall here on Inferno. He's heading all the way towards the B site. Rubinho coming towards Banana Sentry. He's noticed and he's going to rotate now. And Kutter is uh, going to pump, pump the bomb down in that smoke. And Norway want to increase their tally to 14. Kutter's being shot up the backside, but he runs away. He's made his way into ruins just about. And Sentries is expecting him. Kutter's going to take down Sentries. Are we going to see another clutch? Three versus one. Rubinho, of course, knows where Kutter is. There's a fake defuse. Rubinho has no kit. He's got no kit. He's got no Kutter. Why did you peek? Why did you peek? And we are going to have round number 14 for Norway. It was an eco round for them, remember? And uh, Iceland's finances are going to be hurt. Norway are going to be over the moon. And come on now, Norway. Put your heads down and win this game. So, take a look at the scoreboard, Rubinho. And, uh, okay, here's an interesting well, who, uh, conversation. Who's your man of the match been based on what we've seen so far? It's out of interest. Um. I know, probably the Icelandic cutter. cutter <laughs> he amazed me with that auto sniper. Look, look at this sentry's bought an auto, auto sniper now. <laughs> the ice, the Scandinavian Africa. battle of auto snipers. Who will emerge victorious? Is it going to be Cutter or is it going to be Sentries? How awkward would it be if Sentries manages to take out Cutter with that auto sniper? Bit of a taste of his own medicine, I think. So here we go then, Cutter making his way towards this A bomb site. Down goes Paint. There's that bullet lands in his head. Vendetta playing. An abnormal angle, uh, they're not looking right at him, but he could catch a glimpse of off, off Viker, he does. And that's going to be a good important frag, Rubinho as well that's on the rotation. Sentry. Getting exactly what the doctor ordered for Norway, and there's a headshot from Drips. That AK-47 is superior to the M4, but it makes a lot of more noise because there's no silencer. Assuming you're comparing it to a silenced M4. 14-9, 3 versus 2. What's going to happen? Round number 24. Talking about 24, there's 24 seconds left. Rubinho's in apps, he's on 14 HP, he's going to throw that grenade. Drips has to get the bomb down. Wow, what's going to happen here? Drips, surely he's going to land that shot. He does. And Vendetta and Rubinho both on on low HP. There's the bomb. The CT's here. The bomb going down. Drips is being shot out through the uh, through the woodwork. And Rubinho finally lands that shot. And we are going to have match point. Norway have brought it to 15-9. And Iceland, despite their efforts, despite the blood, sweat and tears they shed earlier on on Dust 2. Is it going to go to waste? It just might. It just might. Stay tuned and let's see how this unfolds. How do you think it will unfold? It will unfold of my game being crashed. My game's crashed as well, actually. My game has crashed as well. Um, I, I just hope Iceland will wake up. Uh, you, know, you know what happened in the previous map. Well, why is the game crashed? Is GoTV meant to make the game crash? I don't know. Sorry about that, guys. We're going to have to restart. Oh, both our games crashed. A uh, dodgy uh, GoTV, I think. Yeah, someone's anticipating that Norway may have won. Because, uh, remember, there is a 90 second delay. Let me just confirm from the admins regarding who won that game. Um. Because, of course, if uh, GoTV did go down... And that could very well have been... Due to the server shutting off... Thanks to a Norway victory. Yeah, Norway won. Okay, Norway won. Fair enough. Yay. Yay. No comeback from Iceland. I don't have to sell my account now. Yeah, you can keep your uh, CSGO account. And again, we could jump into... And 11-4 for, for Italy. 11-4 for to Italy. Italy is now moving on to city. We can, we can yeah. go, go, go over... Italy is now being city side. Okay, we can so. go over to Croatia against Italy. I uh, again I I'm not sure whether you guys want us to go into Croatia against Italy because I know that the stream is actually lagging 
Uh, Norway emerged victorious. The Go TV crashed because the server crashed as soon as Norway won, if that makes any sense. So uh, because of the delay, we didn't get to see that final round. So naughty, naughty EFRAG. But do you guys want us to go to Croatia and Italy or not? Because I do know um, um, the stream is lagging. Seems like most people. Okay, one says yes. Fix the lag then, Steam. I've already discussed this. I can't fix the lag. It's on my ISP's uh, end. It's not on my end. Okay, yeah, I just got it confirmed that Norway did win. 69 overall, so. Uh, they must have uh, got that last round. So, right, is the, no Go TV available. Okay, I need to get the Go TV IP. Um, I'll follow the admins. Again, guys, um, the stream's lagging, so do you, do you guys want us to carry on? If I get around like five people saying in Twitch chat that you want us to carry on, we'll carry on. Otherwise, um, uh, we'll call it a day. Because I know there's. Uh, well, I think it's 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 over a bit. Uh, Italy is winning about 13. I can't see because the streamer is chatting on Steam. 13.4 for streamer, Italy. The streamer is chatting on Steam. What a lad. But yeah, guys, as we uh, await the uh, IP, the Italy IP from uh, the admins, uh, I'd really appreciate if you followed this channel. Again, I've already discussed the lag, guys. Um, welcome to uh, UK internet. Unfortunately, my ISP throttles me when uh, I uh, upload for more than two hours in a row. And obviously, it's been more than two hours in a row, so they've uh, throttled my internet upload speed down. S uh, so, we'll, you know, we're doing this because we get a local VOD anyways, which will go up onto my YouTube. Still waiting for the admins to give me the it Italy IP. I think the I think the admin no he is. I thought the admin was playing deathmatch for a second. Give it a few more minutes. If the admin unfortunately doesn't provide us with the source with the Go TV, sorry, then uh, pff, there's nothing we can do about that, I and mean, we might just might have to call it a day. But yeah, again, remember to follow the channel. What that of course means is. Uh, that whenever I go online, which I will be doing for a lot of these European Championship matches, you will have an email straight into your inbox letting you know. Obviously, feel free to uh, follow me on Twitter or uh, like Anexis on uh, Facebook and Twitter, or even subscribe to me on YouTube where. It'll be announced pretty much everywhere there when I go live. So, no reply so far from the admins. Looks like we might have to give Croatia and Italy a miss, unfortunately. 15-4. 15-4. In favor of the Italians. Yes. Yeah, so that is indeed going to go to... Uh, and now it's probably going to be 16 So it's, it's yeah, it's gonna go to a third map. I see. No reply as it stands. I'll tell you what. I'll play a little bit of music and uh, I'll try to keep you guys updated via the chat. <laughs> 